This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on multicam editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create a multicam sequence using video clips with different frame sizes. Before I talk about effects, I want to talk about creating a multicam clip where the video files use different frame sizes. There's two things that you must do. The first is go up to Premiere Pro, go to Preferences, go to Media, and make sure that the default media scaling, which is normally set to frame size, is set to none. This is critical. You've got to do that first. And click OK. Second, equally critical, select the largest frame size first, then select the rest of your clips. Finally, control click on the selected clips, create a multi-camera source sequence, we're going to synchronize based upon the start of every clip because there's no relationship here. I'm showing how these clips work. We're going to call this Multicam 3, Sync on Endpoints. We're going to let this be automatic, which means that it will automatically configure the Multicam sequence to match the codec and frame size and frame rate of the first selected clip. I'm going to enumerate the cameras and click OK. Now I'm going to create a new sequence. Command N, and we're going to call this, we're going to do a 1080 sequence, and we're just going to scroll down here, and we're going to call it Sequence 2. I've created a new sequence, so I'm going to drag that multicam clip in and put it into the sequence, but don't change the sequence settings, So I've already got those set keep the existing settings. And look at what we've got here. I've got this beautiful 1080p liquid iron pouring out of a bucket. I've got another 1080p clip of this arm reaching in and grabbing out a glowing cast metal. And I've got this 4K clip of the earth, which is the source of all iron. It's somewhat zoomed in. Let's just cut this. We're going to say that, that iron starts with the earth and then we pour the iron, and then once it's poured, it gets lifted out in this giant glowing ingot, and we come back to the earth, and we see that the earth is the source of where all this stuff comes from. Now, I could, of course, trim this and, and do the standard trimming, but look at what I have here. I've got 1080 clips perfectly framed inside a 1080 sequence, but a 4K clip which is too big. So how do we fix that? Select the 4K clip, hold the Shift key down, which is how I can select stuff which is not next to each other. Hold that down, control click on the selected clips, and scroll down until you find Set to Frame Size. Set to Frame Size now takes that image and scales it back so you can actually see what the full 4K image is, or by going up to Effect Controls, you can see with this clip selected that it's been scaled slightly smaller than 50% size. I want to scale this up a bit, right about there. No, it's got to be on the, mind the first clip. There we go. I want to be on the first clip, scale that up a bit. Then I want to pan it a little bit over, and I want to pan it down, so I still have full reframing control over that extra large clip, so I can do sort of a quasi close-up for the first shot, and go back to the Earth suspended in space wide shot. Is that not cool? So the secret to working with clips that are different sizes is select the largest clip first, then build your sequence to be whatever size you want, and then go back and scale the extra large clip to the size that you want after you've done your multicam edit. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on multicam editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 296. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. 
You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than nineteen hundred movies on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.